Oh, hey, just Jeff here, about to do another vlog video. I'm so tired. I wish I had something I could drink to be stronger and more powerful and more entertaining. Alright guys, now I'm ready to vlog. How's it going? Um, hello world. Hi, how you doing? I see you. Yes, I still do have some of my monster left. I was... It took a lot to just do that. Right there. Still my lip. Oh. Terrible. Awful. So I just had some... I had something really delicious. I had steak. <coughs> okay, okay. It was delicious steak. Um, my brother, he just keeps buying it. He just keeps buying steaks. And, and I'm not talking about an ordinary, like, Texas Roadhouse sirloin. This is like... It could engulf a whole, a whole continent. It would make your grandmother proud. I mean, this is kind of steaks that Texas Ranger eats as appetizers. Let's just say it's a jumbo steak. So I'm eating this jumbo steak and I'm like, this is good. And of course it's got the, uh, the, the red juice, we like to call it, but in actuality it's blood. 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 And, and so I, it made me think, I, I, I was thinking, and something hit me, right here, in the heart. <laughs> I thought to myself, I said, It's a good thing that cows are stupid. You want to know why? Why? Let me tell you. When's the last time you saw a cow intentionally doing something so that us humans would be hurt internally? For instance, what if a cow was to see us eating his friend? Mmm, <coughs> I like Pete. Moo! They would be hurt. But no, they don't. But if they did, what if they thought, and they said, that's Pete right there that he's eaten. What would happen is they would start polluting things, like, like their milk. Oh, fine, you ate Pete. I'm gonna pee in your milk. <laughs> Imagine all the raw milk we would begin to drink. We might, it might even be an epidemic. They could call it the cow-freaking epidemic. Now, it seems absurd, but did you ever see the bee movie? Yes, the bee movie. Bee movie. What happens in that movie is the bees start finding out that the humans are taking the honey, and what happens? Glad you asked. What happens is the bees start suing the humans. Oh, I mean, what if these cows got so freaking evil that, that they just ran us over like Mufasa? Daddy, no! No! If you've seen a stampede before, imagine a cow full of stampedes. Ah! Run! There's a cow! And he's running at me! I mean, what a frightening sight, right? If a cow was running at me, I might turd myself. It's just, oh, oh, crap, no, I can't. it's just not right. I mean, Mufasa said it best when he said, son, I love you. <laughs> no, no, it's a joke, it's, it's a joke. I can't even imagine an evil cow. Evil, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have nightmares now about evil cows. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. Gosh, freaking darn it. I'm gonna have night freaking mares. One freaking of a mess. The other day I was playing ping freaking pong, and uh, and I got, I got, <laughs> I got whacked right, uh, right in the eye. The ball it. It's like I didn't see it. I was focusing. You know how you do? I was focusing. The ball it came, and I tried to chop at it, but I, I got eye level with it, and the air from my paddle pushed the ball just enough up. Right in my eyeball. It's awful. It swelled up just like a golf freaking ball. And I, I said to myself, I said, gosh freaking darn it. And that's when I started using the word freaking in between words. Because it just makes you sound so much more cooler. I mean, just listen to the way you can use some words now. If you put freaking in the middle of them. I'm gonna go watch the T-freaking V. Let's go freaking fishing. Enough of the star freaking wars. I love my Mac freaking book. And freaking B freaking A. Well, it's kind of hard. And B A. So what do you guys think? It's a good idea. Your conversations would go from this meter of coolness to blow up the top. Pop it right off. Pop it. Conversation right out of the water. It'd be awesome. I feel like the coolest dude around or dude that dude anything, whatever you are, it'd be cool. Oh, so I signed up for this site. It's called Loot Crate. And um, if you're not familiar with it, basically every month they send you box full of nerdy goodness ranging from Star Wars to Marvel to DC. I think DC, maybe not, but random stuff like that, toys, all the stuff that nerdy people want, like myself and you. <laughs> you. You. Yeah, so a lot of people love Loot Crate. So I was like, I'm gonna give this a shot. It's like 
16 bucks with a coupon. And I can't freaking wait to get my loot crate. And I'm going to do an opening. So all you all can be like, I want that. And you're all going to sign up because you all want that. Because you all want it, okay? Lootfreakingcrate.com. Okay? Without the freaking. Sign up. Go sign up. Go sign up. I'll put the link below if you want to check it out if you've never heard of it. Or if you're just curious, which I was, and then I heard of it, and then I wanted it, then I bought it. It's like a step. You get curious, you buy it. DirecTV said it best. Sponsor! And I think that's all I've got for today. Boop! I'm still here. <laughs> Thought I was gone. You know what to do, right? You know what to do. <laughs> you know what to do. Just do it. Do freaking it. Like if you like. Don't if you don't. Subscribe if you want. Keep being awesome if you are. Shittio. 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 Don't drink your milk. It might be spoiled. <laughs> what? All right. Cool.